A major defense bill spearheaded by Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed is now headed to President Biden's desk. A nearly $860 billion bill passed with bipartisan support, but not every lawmaker was a fan. 12, uh, Target 12 investigator Tolly Taylor asked Senator Jack Reed about the opposition. He joins us now with the details. U.S. Congressman Jake Auchengloss and Senator Ed Markey offered different reasons why, but both ended up voting against Senator Reed's defense bill. It is a win-win-win. Senator Jack Reed feeling upbeat with the nearly $860 billion National Defense Authorization Act expected to be signed into law next week. This is, I think, a, a significant uh, victory for of the men and women who dedicate their lives to the service of the nation. But not all of his congressional colleagues in nearby Massachusetts were on board, with U.S. Congressman Jake Gawkincloss releasing a statement last week after he voted against it that read in part, I have always believed that the Pentagon should be spending smarter, not bigger. I cannot support this bill because it does not make progress on that front. Reed disagrees. The welfare of the men and women who sacrifice their lives in service would be constrained. And Reed insists there are cost cutting moves, pointing to the bill's announcement that eight combat ships and certain military aircraft will be retired this year. As for Auchincloss and Markey, they have uh, the prerogative to vote any way they want. But Reed maintains without the bill, America wouldn't be able to adequately defend its interests at home or abroad. This is still a dangerous world, and I think uh, uh, not recognizing that uh, is not the approach. Reed says the bill will also have a big impact on Rhode Island's economy, with new funding going toward local submarine construction. Tolly Taylor, 12 News.